Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of the Tamra Tamra Collective, where dreams have no filter. So today is going to be a very short video. I know I said I was going to stop saying that, but I, I'm pretty sure this, this will probably be one of the shortest videos because it's simply a reminder. This is a reminder for you to celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself. I did not say celebrate your accomplishments. I did not say celebrate what you've done, but just celebrate you for being. Celebrate yourself for existing. The other day, I posted a video about reframing how we look at procrastination and determining is it really procrastination or is it rest? And in that video, I touched on how rest is in fact productive. Many times we look at what we are doing, how many things we can scratch off the list, the laundry list of busyness, the laundry list of all of these tasks, not giving thought to whether or not these tasks are aligned with what brings us joy or, or are they even aligned with what we're called to do. And oftentimes we look at that list, if we check off the right amount from day to day, then we say, okay, that's then I was productive because I did all of these things because I cr built something or created something. I answered a bunch of emails. I just did a bunch of things. We also have to even take into account when we are actually taking inspired action that is aligned with our calling that is bringing those things that are bringing us joy we still have to remind ourselves to to rest to rest our minds from ideas to rest our minds and get away from okay what's next what's next what's next to rest our bodies, to rest our physical. Rest is productive. But in this video, I wanna remind you to celebrate yourself. Celebrating yourself and for existing is also productive. Celebrate your perseverance. Celebrate your suffering. I'll come back to that in a second. Oops, I was getting a phone call. Celebrate your suffering. Celebrate your, your anger. Celebrate your joy. Celebrate all of your emotions. Why am I saying this? Because... Oftentimes we hear the key to experiencing and living in abundance in all areas of our life. The key to that is gratitude. Well, if we're being honest, if I'm being honest, 
to first, when you first hear that, it's counter to, especially if it's counter to what you're currently experiencing, what your senses are telling you is in your reality at the moment. And for some of you, if you're watching this right now, what's in, what's, ha what's happening, what you're looking at, what your vision is telling you is happening. You may be thinking, well, how can I, I know abundance is, is for me, but how can I have gratitude for something that does not feel good? Well, what can assist you with that? is just celebrating you. And that's why when I first said that, I said, I was very specific about saying, I didn't say celebrate what you do. I didn't say celebrate what you've accomplished. I just said celebrate you. When you can celebrate you, I don't care if you have to sing, even if you can't sing. I don't care if you have to write a poem that may sound like a poem to you, but maybe to somebody else, it may not be a poem. It may be gibberish, but to you, it's, it's a harmony of words that you put together to celebrate yourself. I don't care if you have to just stand outside and feel the wind on your face and feel the sun on your face. I don't care if you have to, I don't care if you dance. Celebrating you may look like lighting a candle. Celebrating you may be getting in your car and just going for a drive. To just say out loud what you appreciate about yourself. Saying out loud, even if, again, what you're going through, it may be hard to find gratitude. You may be saying you can celebrate yourself by acknowledging how you feel and saying, I feel this way about this situation, but I am here. I'm breathing. My heart is beating. I can see. I can move on my own. I can exist here. When you start to do that, you'll you'll start to it, it's almost like once you start to to speak that way and you start to really celebrate you, then you start to remember, oh yeah. I've had challenges before. Oh yeah, I remember when I went through that five, ten years ago. And I'm still here. And then all of a sudden that turns into, oh yeah, I'm I'm grateful for that. I'm thankful for that. So you see how even though a situation may be difficult to find the gratitude in, if you just go back to you, you go back to yourself, filling your skin, placing your hand over your heart. Going for you, those of you that work out, maybe just going for a jog. Well, not, I don't want to say just like, I don't want to simplify it because it, that's a big deal to celebrate yourself. It's that in itself to be able to do that. That is something to celebrate, to celebrate the fact that you can celebrate yourself. That maybe for some of you, it's just looking in the mirror and looking into your own eyes Connecting with your soul in the mirror. That could be a form of celebrating your being. And remembering that. 
your soul first in this body. Celebrating yourself will cause you to remember that you have a purpose, that you have purposes, multiple purposes for being here. That you came here to leave your imprint to better yourself, to positively affect those around you and the world. Not that saving the world or, or having a positive impact on the world needs to be a focus for you celebrating yourself. But I said that to present a picture of what just celebrating yourself, what that turns into. Maybe, you know, you may want to say things out loud for some of you. You may want to write out. You may want to write out how you celebrate you. How you like you. How you have embraced your identity. How you have changed and evolved how you think differently, how you see things differently, how in the last, I'm just throwing this number out, in the last three years you have evolved. You're more open to receive. You're more open to receive help. You're more, more open to communicate on any level, with whomever. Those are things that we forget to celebrate because we're celebrating ourselves. This is not about what, we're, what we do, but it's about how we are being. To celebrate your evolution, to celebrate peeling back layers of programming that have fallen off. You may not physically see them, but you can feel them. That's something to celebrate. So, see, and this is why I shouldn't say the video should be short because I'm already at 13 minutes. I thought this was going to be about five minutes. But anyway, please celebrate yourself sometimes you know we get into you know manifesting and affirming and having our vision which all of those things I talk about those things on this channel but sometimes we have to remember to include in our manifesting in our affirming in our vision, in our being focused on our vision, sometimes we have to remember to include celebrating the, uh, the progress of us to celebrate our evolution. Because to get to the highest vision that we have for ourselves, it involves evolution. And we get to celebrate that ourselves. Whether other people notice it or acknowledge it or celebrate it or not, we get to do that for ourselves. So I just want to drop that reminder and um, thank you again for tuning in and until next time, cheers.